The question, did Putin potboil the end of the planet to protect his partner Trumpy Tune from being arrested through civil processes in the United States for his and their rule, the Council of Dictators rule, in AIDS and COVID-19? And d does this portend more to come? Instead of asking that question directly, which is shrouded in um, the hypocrisy of Western media, who refuses to address the findings I've brought to light, um, what I thought I'd do is um, address the fact that it seems very unusual and strange to me that there's no reasonable effort to assess and honestly apprehend what sort of problem and situation we have going on now. A primary example of this is the insistence on Western media and world media to call what is happening in the Ukraine a war. It's not a war. It's an organized crime. And it's organized through international cartels of this sort that Biden realizes apparently we have to get a a little bit of a measure of um, checks put on. Um, the International Trade University in the neighborhood where I grew up, Carnegie Mellon University, which is run by a Trump ally, Granger Morgan, to a great degree, is a good example of the way that New York's power structure has been behind what Putin is doing. One of the strangest things that happened in um, American politics in the, the weeks since the invasion was that Lindsey Graham called for Putin's assassination, apparently oblivious to the fact that his master, his Lord and master, who he never questions, Trumpington, is a partner of Putin, despite the fact that um, Trump extolled this. So we're going to go into the background and look at some of the issues that pertain to um, my report and evaluation so that it's possible to sift through some of the findings that I've made and come to grips with um, what has happened pursuant to protecting certain normal standards. Now, the basic litany behind these um, terrifying acts, you call them genocide, mass murder, nothing can make them less terrifying. Yes, um, you know, we're talking about scholarship and awareness and editorializing in times of Holocaust. It's not an easy thing to grapple with. But one of the things that underwrites this is a theme that came out in the 80s. What happened in the 80s that's very important in um, British arrangements with the Kremlin is that the museum thief from Israel, John Shulman, on a signal from the museum thief from England, Robert Fripp, pinched Warhol-related papers that were planted on me as a child. And Penis Gabriel flew off to talk to the people in Moscow and Oliver Stone organized a worldwide presentation, a conversation that we will talk about as we go along, as Arnold Schwarzenegger um, rampaged his macabre machismo as a dominating force necessary to the nature of reality, as they put it at the University of Pittsburgh, um, even after the Fern, Bridge, Fern Hollow Bridge collapsed. Um, testament to their grasp of the nature of reality, I'd say. But one of the things that was underwriting the whole affair was the way they, they were treating me. It wasn't just that my father had written a book on human rights and that pigeonholed me as somebody who was going to be not denied all human rights. And they had a military sociology stockade. He's white. We deafened him, but so what? We acid burned him, but so what? We wrecked his girlfriend, but so what? And they maugered Brian Nino's entourage up out of the Warhol with um, victims of the AIDS attack who were pushing a nuclear ultimatum. So the queers who were being exposed 
for their franchise with Trump and the people, the bullion of the letters that they use, it was a big thick bullion cube of letters that they pinched, was being exposed for cooperation with the assassins themselves. See my research at the genocide pornography. So the queers are finally relieved of duty because Putin has taken charge of the nuclear ultimatum stuff. So they're secretly rejoicing that this happened in the Ukraine because otherwise they would have to be summoned to the Seattle courts to explain why they were threatening a nuclear war uh, against the United States because somebody who was deafened and tortured and castrated and loved one was raped and murdered by these um, UW dialectical patriots of Trump hasn't suffered enough. You know, they're sort of relieved of duty at ease. So what you find with um, the idea of closing the skies is attending closing the aerospace. That's one of the things that's very preeminent with these people. But underlying this theme is the idea that matrimony is forbidden and it, it, to the queer bait for, because in their view, the fallen state, which is sex out of wedlock, leads to overpopulation. So that might explain why there was an attack on a maternity ward and children is because this is the house of illegitimacy in the eyes of the uh, Russian Orthodox Church, who agree with Trump and Greg Coral. Greg Coral was a Catholic master of uh, status. He worked with Paul McCartney. You know, you can't can't climb up past a certain rung of English royalty in the search for recognition. You must be recognized by them or you won't be recognized. Carl used to talk about the initial encounter of the X mode of being tainted by the shadow of the adversary, which harks back to Tess in the Epic of Gilgamesh, where a powerful warlord demanded the virginity of everyone in his before they could in his domain before they his sovereignty before they could marry. You know, and we saw Camilla um, Valeva, you know perform an uh, uh, ono, Yoko Ono production of Tess and elevate the Japanese skater to third position as a tribute, just as Greta was named, middle named as tribute to, to Yoko Ono. So all of these pieces are in place to perform a showdown over the right to marry if you're not a virgin and the right to even exist if you enter the fallen state. So that's what's really underlying these um, fiascos and these crimes of total obliteration. What's new that's never been done before is the total obliteration. You know, they just wipe out, you know, the, the, forget about Cersei Kennedy, she's dead. And, but her spiritual commodity has been resurrected in the purpose of saving the earth of Grotta. You know, I love Grotta, don't get me wrong, but she was born to be played in this. And, you know, Lindsey Graham thought the Putin boomerangs all over the place, you know, because there's a whole s- that board. The w- Watton makers who worked with Altenberg used to have this toy. They had a silver ball and they would play like this to get it to go into holes before it slipped out. You know, you had to have a huge nerve behavioral uh, wizard from Israel. And he could do it real good. You know, he could get the ball to go into any hole he wanted. And that's a symbol of arranged marriage. They've been working on this project for quite a few generations. So one thing you have to understand is that John Lennon was clearly in on it because it's all based on two versions, pussy ball. So was the United Nations. So a centerpiece of the arc idea that there will be life beyond this tragedy. Clarence Thomas was in on it. He's the one that denies that one is not for you from the Supreme Court, right? Because he has it in for his father who abandoned his mother, you know? And it's like uh, 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 trauma from a, a, a Alfred Hitchcock movie. What drives this um, moral imposter? Oh, it's oh, the sorrow of being uh, uh, abandoned by Dada. 
So, you know, when you look at the idea of closing the airspace, you can clearly see that what I'm doing is um, an attempt to organize awareness of what happens so that ordinary people or grannies and so on can be can be protected so that we can find someone. I have no idea whether Tulsi Gabbard is perfect for the job. She sounds as in Dexical as Putin. But we have to get a control of supervision over the labs. That's perfectly obvious. So, you know, and when you look at me, how did they, you know, develop me into the state where I'm mourning for the lost child of the and encounter with the X motive that were degraded to put it in Greg Carl's famous language. You know, they executed my offspring because I wasn't married. You now they stopped me from getting my bachelor's degree. I had one class left because math, higher math, symbolizes the nature of reality. I mean, tell that to the firm, although Brutch, but higher math symbolizes the nature of reality. And they made it so I couldn't pass it, but pranking me with an interpreter and not following what was happening, even though I was in five theta and a straight A student, and they chopped, stopped the, the ability to go to school after poisoning me in the mouth and releasing COVID right at the bachelor line. So we, we see that the Russian Orthodox Church and um, Yoko Ono have it all worked out for a program of um, executing those who are fallen. And the higher good of the morally pure will become a worldwide absolute they dream. So the Graham family is clearly in on it too, you know, as much as it may seem like there's a Hitler um, Stalin dialectic going on. The truth is that Hitler and Stalin went half and half on the dividing up of Poland, you know, so um when you have like the original tapestry with Wattenmaker and the man who attacked me, who was considered a hunk by Ono and her friends, Midori Goto, the UN put on this whole plot about her virginity being conquered by Yusu Endor. They came in with yada yada that yammer through a brain injury. And, and Clarence Thomas said, that's not for you. And the NAACP said he owes us, um, uh, his masterpieces because when he was a little boy, he he fooled around with a with a lock picker. You know, so I mean, the the mania is all extortionist and it's organized crime. It's criminally insane. But I mean, don't I wouldn't give it the time of day. But it's all over the airspace. It's all over local media. It's blocking airspace. You know, they're not so. The point is, though, that what they were doing when they first attacked me with this man who was such a hunk, they said, you know, uh, his name was Casper, you know, and the, the people with Midori Goto and Flip Sister were all like this. Oh, we should forgive him and kill the master, but to be liberal. As Trump's speechwriter, Adam Ozestat, called me publicly in the pit notes. And the idea was like, Kal Sparowski said, if you look for the lips, if they're turned to the on position, you could steal the car. You see, Winemaker was saying, if you look for the lips of the patient, you will know if she has lost her virginity already. You see, so there's a whole pattern of, um, Trumpy Tudinism and the gloat of who does the honors, as they like to call it, calling dibs on the on the on the women. And that's why, you know, he can do anything, grab them by the pussy, insult them publicly. I mean, he's insulted the entire na national organization of women publicly, and Hillary Clinton st still agrees to debate with them because she was in on it. She was in on what happened on Mount Desert Island. They all were. You know, so If you look at the man who took my fiance from me, it begins ARM. And that was set up from Arnold Katz's father, you know, in the University of Pittsburgh, Nature Reality's Protection of Virginia, and, and so on. So if you look at the Odessa file, you'll see 
the grabbing wads, that's not for you. It's actually a thing underscoring the murder of JFK, you know? So we have these people in power who are occupationally disordered. They're totally obsessed with virginity. And they're projecting the idea that I was when I was just trying to break what they admitted was neurohypnosis. I'd never heard of neurohypnosis. But even before the neuroplasm surfaced, Wesley Potsdam was in the pit notes with some of his douchebags laughing publicly about the use of neurohypnosis, which Penis Gabriel then said allowed him to use rapid on movement, extortion on the queer bait, you know, and the Kremlin in Moscow was all in on this. Oliver Stone was kissy licking with Putin through the whole thing. They're all in on it. So, you know, they have my family staked out. They have Nate and Gretchen, you know, the Coit Reese set up in the clubhouse downtown Seattle where they poisoned me in the mouth and stuff. Not that particular clubhouse, but the Seattle clubhouse movement. And my father's book, Rudin up here come to Glosher about his upbringing of Cedar Rabbits is presumably up in the attic of one of Ono's Jewish Gestapo in Her- Dobbs Ferry. It's an attic estate. Get it? Ha <laughs> ha. It's like attic estate. You know, so they have it all mongered. You know, the Green Party Blackhawks follow me to my doorstep, creep up behind me to shadow me. Is he afraid of shadows? He, he's learned not to be, well, aren't we cool? So you have the situation when Hollywood answered this stuff, and Hollywood was always a problem, but that's the only place you're going to get any answers, supposedly. So they say I'm paying much schizophrenic and a nonconformist so bad or that I would chew celery ice cream and humiliate myself, right? And talk about carrots, raving, not paranoid, schizophrenic. Well, when the ultra high system went on, I knew immediately it was the Beatles because of the sound effects, because of the choice of voices, because of the revolution of an untyped laughing. So I would be very careful being so sure that um, they don't have brainwave center. So you know, what we have in the situation of um, uh, um, the, the mockery being made of our established guidelines of normal standards was um, put into a, a very sad situation with the release of COVID, where people were scrambling for everything, you know, it was like a food fight, which they have long been predicting at Nature of Reality Berg, you know, what they call a food fight over status, really. And all of our grannies and ex-girlfriends were, a lot of them were abandoned by the people who knew them, you know. If you look at the norm in the you know, Nature of Reality Berg, the city of Pittsburgh, you'll see that the people who covered for this crime all along with the dog rule about the nature of reality and market forces and products belonging to their um, international cartel was um, gaslighters who knew that I was an innocent person, but knew that I was traumatized, who knew the whole setup, who preyed on me and used virginity to get me castrated who eliminated all prospect of children so that they could draw a line in the sand, as Bushy Toon would put it. And now they claim they're my friends. They want to repossess my artwork and all this stuff. It's, it, it's, a, it's a weird monstrosity. But the root of it is that Putin is engaged in what he thinks is a holy war. And there's not much difference between the way that the Russian people were told, don't blame the Russian people. And the way that Americans say, don't blame us because we support the problems in Central America. Putin's justifications are a lot like Casper Weinberger's. These are powerful oligarchy. And, you know, it's the idea that Flippy Toon would say, oh, I'm for the Ukrainian people. You know, the Ukrainian leader has an index name of Zal Lenin Wispansky. 
and he clambers out of the pot with Bede Catano, who was a comedian and the brutal cop who set up Battle Royal. So you have a zone and battlefield. I don't want to undermine the morale of the Ukrainians, but it's rather strange that a man claims to be protecting the Russian people when he wants to blow them up with something, you know, as alien as nuclear radiation, you know, or is willing to risk it. It's very seriously strange. And I've looked at the character of Odessa. It's just as corrupt as anywhere in the Western Russia. It's not more corrupt or less corrupt. So, you know, what they need are institutional processes where our Commonwealth is aware of what's going on and normal standards. They're basically normal people. So when you have this situation where there's clear cut rationales that are total frauds like Putin is advancing, you have to ask yourself, is the Iron Curtain actually covering for something different from what they say they're covering for? And people say they're covering for is the old Stalinist junta, the USSR. But I think what Putin is really covering for in his invasion of the Ukraine is Donald Trump.